Hey, Grib, Jim, no, Grib. So if you watch this channel for any amount of time, you've probably figured out I really like finding weird ways to make music, weird ways to give myself inspiration, or even weird ways to generate specific ideas for me to use when I'm creating. And I've had this idea for a while. In today's video, I wanna show you something I've come up with that's just like, an instant weird idea machine. I'm gonna use it to create lyrics and music, but I feel like it might be applicable to a lot of different kinds of creative endeavors. We're gonna use gibberish. Just Just literally any random garbage sound that you can I know this seems super silly, but we're gonna turn it into Art. Before we jump right in though, I wanna take a moment to thank our sponsor today, Dashlane. Dashlane is a service for keeping your online accounts and data safe, as well as making it convenient. It makes it faster to log into things, faster to pay for things, faster to fill out forms, all the while keeping your personal information super secure. And if you stick around to the end of the video, there's a special offer for you. Dashlane also has this password generator, and that's what we're gonna to use to generate the gibberish that we need. I don't know if you've ever spoken in gibberish at length. I'm willing to accept that I might just be the weirdo in this situation, but uh, there's a tendency for it to eventually all just sound the same. Like you can't keep coming up with new weird syllables that don't make real sense, but that are real sounds. So there's this Dashlane Chrome extension, you go to the password generator. The idea here is you'll be able to generate crazy strong, like 28 character passwords that no one would ever be able to remember or crack. And you only need your one master password on Dashlane to access all your accounts. So the next step is the most fun part. You're gonna get your Siri or your Google Assistant. You're gonna say the gibberish into your phone and uh, it's always gonna try and make sense of what you're saying. So a normal human might hear something like, Orpikerfology, and your phone is gonna try so hard to make that into real words. In this case, it heard orbiter fly G. So maybe the universe wants us to write a spacey rap song. I'm a fly G. There's something there with like uh, gra gravity, right? G flying, the G, the gravity planes. All right, let's try some more. I'm just gonna read a whole bunch in a row. I'm gonna keep generating new ones and we'll see what Google gives us. No mail for Chicago. <laughs> It thought I said no mail for Chicago. Tsintort Zomagu Larry Stack some Opiris Bowad. Shintorch Zomig Larry Stacks. Rakon Somitem Maxali Sali Estaradector. Rack consummatum, Max Silly Sally. So I find this to be a fun way to kind of kickstart some idea generation. These voice recognition algorithms return something with some meaning and you can see whether you connect with it or not. I don't know if you're feeling inspired, I'm feeling inspired. I feel like there are already three really good song ideas that we've got here. Silly Sally and Larry Stacks are totally like characters that the Beatles would write into their songs. Maybe you could picture what those people would be like and write something about their lives. Orbiter Fly G, I mean, I'm already drawn to space stuff anyway, but that just makes me feel feel certain things that I think I could channel into a uh, writing mood. The one I'm most drawn to though is no mail for Chicago. I know people in Chicago, I love writing letters. I'm gonna tweak this to be no mail from Chicago and then I feel like a story starts to unfold about uh, maybe a long distance relationship. There's something poetic and uncertain there about waiting for the mail every day and hoping that you'll hear from someone. It ties our song to something specific in the real world, Chicago, the famous beautiful city, but it's still vague enough that we could tell any any human story there that most people could probably relate to. So I have my song idea now. Let's just do a bunch more gibberish to generate lyric material. Back home and see alienium. Back home and see aliens. Ants will last words lucario. Ants will last words lucario. Love later, Okumakos. Ten detchitalis nepul. Take a look at these results. I'm feeling this. Thank you, Gibberish. Thank you, Dashlane. I'm gonna go write this song right now. It's just ink and paper. But I'm living life through your pen strokes. Hold love for later. When you're back home. Day I wake up thinking where you might be. Walks on the lakefront, seeing shows, trying to settle down somehow without me. And 
the whole day drifts by so slow Wondering if there might be some mail from Chicago You said we'd ride every day But they don't come on the weekend I'm always at the doorway Always in my wits end And the whole day drifts by so slow Hanging on to the last words you wrote I can't take it when I know Today's the day when no mail from Chicago So that's kind of a cute song, completely started from some gibberish phrase. Though I don't really know why the characters I'm singing about don't just message each other on Facebook. Where they could protect their accounts with Dashlane! Smooth segue. Boom! Thanks again to Dashlane for supporting my channel. There's a link in the description if you want to get a free 30-day trial. And if you like it, there's also a code down there for 10% off their premium service. Premium includes uh, syncing across devices and backup and faster support and a lot of features to help with your data security. Thanks for watching. I hope this video was helpful for you. Hope you enjoyed the music. I'll be back again soon with some new <laughs> I didn't even plan that. I just can't talk.